Hey, nerdlings! Hello, nerdlings! Do you nerd for nostalgia? <laughs> And nothing says nostalgia better than Retro Tony. Retro Tony is a fellow YouTuber that we finally got to meet in person at MoGameCon 2019. And first of all, he cut us some great deals there. I did. We found some nice stuff there. I did. Although I wasn't happy with him cutting a deal with uh, Gaming Off the Grid because. They, they fixed that whole $5 challenge. Yeah. They, they cheated. It's just cheating. It's cheating. That's mm -hmm. all it was. Cheating. <laughs> Retro Tony also does a lot of game hunting, and we always love to watch his game hunt because he finds awesome stuff. He has recently been finding a just plethora of deals at Walmart. And apparently only his Walmart, because oh, we have no gone doubt. to several different cities and their Walmarts and have not been able to find it anything guys i'm going to leave some links down in the description below so you can check retro tony out and check out his game hunting halls and i had to hit him up i was like hey man yeah you know you found some awesome stuff do i really have to wait until mo game con before you maybe sell some of that and he's like he's like well maybe i'll work something out for you so Yay! we bought some goodies Woo, bubble wrap. he packed it nice Hey, j -Love, look what I got. Boom. <laughs> it's like... Woo! It's like a scroll. <laughs> this bubble wrap <laughs> hereby doth decree... Snap, snap, snap. <laughs> here, here's a good one. Yeah. Woo, more bubble wrap. We've got quite a stack here, and here's the thing. Uh-oh. Do you remember how many games we bought from him? Three. Three. And three. what system were they for? Switch. This doesn't look like a three Switch no, game that stack. No, does not. What's we got? What's we so got? So first of all, YouTubers gotta show love. Yes. So we got some retro gotta Tony have cards. Some cards. And again, his information will be in the description below. So please check him out. Now this was one I was very excited to get, especially for a good price. Sonic Mania Plus. And as you can see, it's that bigger box. There's a book in here. So the art of Sonic Mania. And guys, I'm sure a lot of you, this is old hat, but we are just now picking this up. I always love getting the little art books that show the progression of the game. So like the characters here and then the stages. I always like seeing that. It's always so much fun to see and what color. could have made it into the game, what did make it into the game. And of course, it has the game with it. Now that uh, big sleeve, by the way, we're, we're suckers for anything big box. Mm -hmm. And did you see on well, the inside there? Yes, you can switch it around and have the old school Sega. Sega! So another game that I wanted to add to the collection was Cave Story Plus. And I had been eyeballing this one for a long time. My only issue was I really didn't want to pay the $30 for it. I'm not saying that. I don't think it's worth it. But I am saying I haven't played it, so I don't know if it's worth it. Rental Floss did a nice song for it, though. <laughs> he did. That he did. <laughs> oh, no! Goodies! Stuff fell out of it. Look at that manual. It That's great. Nice full color. Sweet. Little tiny thing. Nice. The compact disc digital audio. Does it? Does this play in normal CD players? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a GameCube disc. Great. We're gonna put it in there. It'll never come out. I know. That's so cute. It's like, look, I've grown giant. <laughs> so that is very cool. That's I really cute. like that manual. Like know. seriously, it's yeah. It's so like a Game Boy manual. That's great. Next is the game that she really wanted. When she saw that Retro Tony had this, she's like, um, that yes, one, that one, That one's mine. Hello, neighbor. Yay. Hey, Denley, ho there, neighbor Reno. Yes, I don't think it's Ned Flanders. I, he's got a mustache like Ned Flanders. He also has a jaw like Joe. Ha! Ah. Hey, Denley, ho, neighbor Reno. Hey, did you know I used to be the voice of the tick? So this one's kind of boring on the inside. Oh, boring neighbors. 
Like, it's her, it's her game now. My game. But I was super excited because this, he had this one. And right now, anytime we've ever seen it anywhere, it's like used 26 bucks. So these were what we buy. These were the three games that we bought. The rest is extra. But Tony did not have to do this at all. First of all, we got a PSP game, Wipeout Pure. Wipeout! And, uh, <laughs> so we've got the little UMD in there, and this will be great. I don't know if you've ever... the same size as a Switch case? Just about. Now, I don't know if you guys are very familiar with the Wipeout games, but uh, basically it's a little bit like F-Zero, a little bit like pod racing. So which... it's not like the Wipeout on TV that we watch? No, no, definitely <laughs> not like that. <laughs> but uh, they are very, very fine, uh, I guess like futuristic racers. Neat! The next surprise is some retro goodness. We've got Ooh. Street Fighter II Special Champion Edition for the Sega Genesis. Oh, with a name like Retro Tony, you gotta throw in some retro goodness in there. Good call. <laughs> and let's face it, the 16-bit days of Street Fighter are probably some of the best. To have Guile in it? Oh yeah. And oh Bl yeah. Was it Blanca? You got it. And Jean-Claude Van Damme? Yeah! Not that version, <laughs> though. <laughs> this last one, here's the thing. This was one of the games that I asked if I could buy from Tony, and he said that he was pretty sure it was going in his collection. So I'm not quite sure why it ended up in here. Maybe he's being super nice. Maybe he found another copy. Maybe it got packed in by accident, and in all honesty, if it did, you let me know, and I will send it right back to you. Battle Chasers on the Nintendo Switch. Now, this is a game that I've been very, very interested in because of the JRPG play style, but also it is based on a comic series that I may have thought was kind of cool back in the day. <laughs> uh, it may have something to do with the, uh, the artwork. Maybe. Anyway. <laughs> this kind of artwork? Uh, may, it might kind have of... been. Artwork. <laughs> but anyway, I have seen this game multiple times on PS4, uh, kind of around that $20 range. But in all honesty, because of the JRPG play style of the game, I really wanted it for the Switch in case she didn't get into the storyline or anything. I could take it off the TV and just play it on the handheld, you know, and I, I don't have feature. to bother her. <laughs> all right, so kind of like Hello Neighbor. It's a little boring, no uh, no inside art, no manual if or I anything. Like it, does that mean we get to keep it? <laughs> <laughs> Just for you, Tony, until I hear back, I'm going to keep her from licking this cartridge. I do want to say, if you absolutely meant to throw this in here, thank you very, very much. This is, oh, I'm, I'm pretty excited. You know, I was pretty excited to uh, finally play some Cave Story and try out Sonic Mania. Honestly, I, I think this is going to get pushed to the <laughs> front of the line because <laughs> I have been wanting this game for so long. So thank you very much. Once more, nerdlings, please go check out Retro Tony's channel. He does a lot of fun stuff. And yes. if you are in the Mo Game Con area next year, be sure to hit him up. Yes. He has awesome games. He gives you awesome deals. He works with you and everything. And, I mean, he's just a lot of fun to talk to, to he, be honest. Yeah. I mean, he's the one who had the one game I was looking for That's the entire very true. time. I was, the only thing I was looking for at MoGameCon was Jaws, and he was the only one who had it, so. So he did it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it also goes to show that this is, uh, this is what the whole community is all yes. about. You know, getting in touch with other collectors and everything, helping people out. Um, obviously, he had some better deals in his area. He helped us out. And, you know, we're always on the lookout for deals. So yep. anyone that we can ever help out, we definitely try to. But put that community to work, guys. And make sure you drop a like on the video. Leave some comments about any of these games. Very curious to hear what you have to say. And uh, leave some comments about Retro Tony. Let him know in the comments yeah. how awesome he is for for hooking us up with the ones that we wanted and the ones that were a surprise. And uh, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to TeePublic because we've got merchandise over there. And he's going to lick it. <laughs> if we like it. We nerd it. For Retro Tony! Woo! It's a box. Excited for a box. <laughs> 
Y'all ready for this? My Walkman ran out of batteries. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that though? Listening to Walkman and the, it's like, why does Bon Jovi sound so sweet? Yep. <laughs> it's like either my Walkman's running out of batteries or, or it's just ain't the tape. <laughs> I give you permission to cut nice. that out, Tom. <laughs> Paul's scratching at the bar. He wants a drink. <laughs> Nice. <laughs>